What's up, wonderful people? So it's day four here in Durham, North Carolina, and I was gonna go to the beach today, but however, it looks like it's gonna rain today, so that plan has been canceled. So what I'm gonna do is start off by getting me some Mexican food from El Patron, then I'm gonna head back over to Frankie's to show you a little bit more of Frankie. Here we go, guys, let's get started. What is up, wonderful people? This is day four here in North Carolina, and I'm gonna visit one of my favorite restaurants in Durham, North Carolina, which is El Patron Mexican Grill. Remember everybody, I want you to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to grow my YouTube channel. Anyways, let's get started with North Carolina Day 4. Alright everybody, so we're going to head over to El Patron for lunch and then go to Frankie's. So uh, let's buckle up and head there. I'm in a Dodge Charger, by the way. Feels so nice. So normally, I, I used to drive a Jeep, a 2007 Jeep Wrangler, but um, I got an accident in that, and then I traded it in for a 2018 Ford F-150. That's kind of what I drive now. But right now, like I said, I am out of town for my job, and I'm trying to find some cool stuff to do here in uh, Durham and Raleigh, North Carolina. But really not much to do that's why i kind of wish it wasn't about to rain today because i was gonna go to the beach today it's like my last day here so but i'm i'm heard that they have some good uh authentic mexican food so i'm gonna see you guys at el patron um i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far yeah see you guys at el patron all right, everybody, so I just arrived at El Patron Mexican Grill. The atmosphere looks great, so I think I'm going to spend the rest of my day here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get comfortable and order me some food. All right, everyone, so I don't think I'm going to go to Frankie's anymore. I think I'm just going to kind of turn this into a food vlog. It's something I've never really done before, but this is something that I'm also going to do on the Alaskan cruise. I'm probably going to do a food vlog. And so I guess this would be good practice to see what I can do and what I should say and what I shouldn't say with the food vlog. But yeah, so far I have only got a drink and I ordered the steak carne asada and it should be coming out here soon. All right, everybody. So my food just came out and you can't tell me that does not look amazing. I'm gonna eat it all. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but for now I'm gonna eat it. Let me let you guys get a first bite glimpse as well. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to try the rice and the beans. So let's see. It's not bad. It's not bad. We got a steak on here. It's spicy. Ooh, it's real spicy. Comes with guacamole. A little bit of cheese. It's a good part right here. I love Mexican food. And it tastes good. Mm. Mm. No, I'm not just hungry. I ate a really big breakfast. This food tastes really, really good. I don't want to eat too fast on camera. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to try this in the burrito or taco version. Yeah, this is a taco. Trying in the taco version. So I just been kind of plowing through the food without really eating it how you're supposed to eat it. But yeah, so we're gonna try it all together. It's good. Real good. Mm, mm, mm. Some good Mexican food. I don't think I've ever really been to a lot of Mexican restaurants back home. And for me, home is Atlanta, Georgia. 
Um, I've been to a lot of good Mexican restaurants. All the Mexican restaurants I've been to that was good was No Mas and La Fonda. I don't know if you're from Atlanta, I think you would know that, but um, but yeah, that's the only like really, really good Mexican restaurants I've been to back in Atlanta. I'm gonna eat a little bit more, and I'll probably see you guys after I finish eating. I might give me a dessert as well. All right, everyone, so I'm almost pretty much done with my food, and I have to give this restaurant a 10 out of 10. Getting really full. Gave me a lot for my money. I think this is like maybe fifteen dollars, but they gave me like a pretty much a whole full plate. But this is really good. I recommend it if you're in Durham, North Carolina. You come try it out. So I was talking to the person that's um at my hotel, like the people at the front desk, and they said uh. Mexican food is like a big thing in Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina. And maybe a little bit of soul food. So, if that's something you like, you should definitely come uh, try this out. Oh, this tastes so good. It tastes so good. Oh, man. I don't think I have. Actually, I take that back. In my wall, I had some tacos on the beach. I'm not sure if I put it in a vlog, like the uh, last cruise vlog on the Oasis of the Seas. Not sure if I put it in there, but I had some tacos that were really, really good. Sorry. I had some tacos that were really, really good. And uh, man, I would go back there just for those tacos. But this tastes just as good right here. I promise you. You're in Raleigh. Make sure you come to El Patron. It's not like a fancy restaurant or any, by far or anything, but it's definitely nice. The food's good. The atmosphere is very nice and chill and relaxed. And I'm enjoying myself. Kind of rather this than going to the beach now that I think about it. This is uh, pretty good. It's like a third of the steak that they gave me. Yeah, this is so good. And you guys can tell I'm not even really like looking at the camera like that. That's how good this is. This is. But yeah. All right, everyone, so I've been sitting here chilling for about maybe an hour or two. And this restaurant, like I say, definitely has a really great vibe. And I would recommend it, like I said before. But yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do after this is probably go to the hotel and just kind of call it a day and just chill, watch some Netflix or Hulu and uh, edit the Antigua Day 6 vlog, like I said. So Frankie's is definitely out the question now. This is an awesome restaurant here. Recommend it. Anyways, I'm in the vlog right here. Just saw him out. Much love.